Hi and welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we share with you how to make stuffed tomatoes. We make them with a filling made of minced meat. We have a lot of cheese that's gonna melt nicely on top of the meat and inside also of this mince. So let's just get started with the tomatoes, which we are going to uh, remove the hats from. We have taken some tomatoes here that are round so they can stand on their own. And it's nice when there are not too many of those membranes inside, so you can easily scoop out everything inside of the tomatoes. And we recommend you to use a sharp knife and then just a spoon to scoop out the insides. And we really want to get rid of also those small, thick uh, sides that they have. Of course, we don't want the tomatoes to uh, have any holes in them. We salt both the bottom and the top part so it can remove some water from the tomato skins and also give uh, some seasoning to the, the tomatoes, which are quite bland in themselves. And I just want to mention that this recipe is for eight tomatoes, not four, as you see in the picture. We're just going to leave these to throw off the water and in the meantime we'll make the mince that's going into these stuffed tomatoes. So in some canola oil we are just frying up some onions that have been cut quite uh, finely and once the, the onion has gone translucent we can add minced meat. In this case we use a mix of meat, uh, veal and pork but you could use beef, you could use chicken or maybe even turkey. It's all up to you. Season the meat well with the salt and pepper. And then we're just going to give a nice surface onto this meat before adding a little bit of uh, garlic. We're gonna add some minced garlic. And then we can go in with the tomato filling. So we've just chopped up what was inside of the tomatoes. And of course, there is a lot of water in this tomato part. So we do want for, for the water to evaporate from the pan before we can add the, the spices. And we go in, once the water is slightly evaporated, we go in with cumin and chili. And we also want to add some dried oregano for this sort of uh, herby, nice uh, touch to the, to the filling. It could have also been thyme. So we're actually more or less done with our filling uh, once it looks like you what you see here on the pan. And we are going to transfer this to a big bowl that can uh, help to cool down the, the filling before we, we add the other ingredients. Because we're going to add eggs, we do not want them to start uh, cooking when they touch the, the really warm meat. So 15 minutes or so are perfect if you can sort of spread out the meat a little bit so it's not all in one place it's going to help to to cool it down quicker here are our tomatoes we're just going to uh slightly get rid of the water that is now uh that has now sort of come out of the of the tomatoes as well as uh, remove water from the ramekin or from the, the dish that they have been in so here we have the tomatoes ready to be filled and if they have a scar on them that's totally okay. This is a home cooking and it's cozy and comfort food. The meat is perfect now to become um, stuffing so we'll add eggs. You do not see two eggs here but we actually added two. We add some breadcrumbs. In this case they are homemade but they could just as well be store-bought. To the mixture we're also going to add two different kinds of cheese. So it's parmesan cheese that's grated and then it's mozzarella cheese. This is going to be a really nice uh, kind of glue that's going to hold the, the stuffing together and it's of course going to give a great taste to this stuffing as well. We can then uh, move on to filling the tomatoes because our stuffing here is done. And it's important to, to really scoop in plenty of stuffing into the tomatoes. As you can see, we do press with the spoon onto them so that we can get as much as possible into those little tomatoes. And it's okay to have a little bit of a 
uh, hill on top so that the the you can say the lid is going to balance on top of that but that's totally okay we would say that the more stuffing the better because then it is going to be a more filling portion that you are making Before adding the tomato lids, we will add a little bit of mozzarella cheese once again to the tops of the tomatoes. It's gonna also help to, when it melts, it's gonna add us a kind of a glue that's holding the lid on top of the stuffed tomatoes. That's gonna be really convenient, but also really delicious with this more sort of golden pure cheese you'll have on top. We have preheated our oven to 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 degrees Fahrenheit and they're going into the oven for around 30 minutes so uh, they can actually just be placed like this it might be that you have to sort of control the lids a little bit uh, while they're cooking we're baking them for 30 minutes so uh, with a little bit of olive oil on top and that is going to just help sort of cook the, the lids and give this nice texture uh, and, and of course it's just going to add some rich taste as well to the whole uh, to the whole tomato And once the tomatoes are baked, they will be piping hot coming out of the oven. You can see that the cheese has nicely melted and uh, that they have uh, really taken a nice sort of uh, integrated look that each tomato really is its own uh, with the lid and, and the beautiful meat. You can see that popping out. We're serving up here with some beautifully cooked jasmine rice with a bit of fresh parsley and some olive oil and a touch of pepper. And then it's all about digging into these little beauties. You can probably see here that the meat is really hanging well onto the tomato skins. So it's really become a hole and the tomato skins are beautifully soft, but without being uh, too soggy. And they do taste of something. We remember that we salted them before adding the, the meat. Um, and the taste of the mince is really great as well. It's very nicely balanced. And, and as you can see here, it is really a, a one. Uh, you don't feel like uh, the mince is just popping out and uh, disappearing from the rest of the the, of the tomato so really a dish that we can recommend you to make it's so easy to make it's healthy and it's gonna be a, a great way to use up some of those tomatoes that you might have lying around thanks a lot for watching mtb cooking here on youtube please share this video with anyone who might find it interesting uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and we'll see you next time bye